how do Russian exams look like in Russia, in Russian schools? What are they? United governmental exams in 11th grade. Today we are gonna talk about it and let me know in the comment section below how does it look in your country too, because it is super interesting. I always read your comments, sometimes I don't answer, but I try to answer to people, yes, because I have other channels. I have also a Russian channel where I share my experience in Russian language and this is my channel where I share my experience from Russia in English to different uh, foreigners and maybe uh, Russian people who learn uh, English language, yes. And if you want to learn Russian language, you can subscribe also to my Russian channel if you want. You will find uh, the link in the description below maybe and also on the main page of this channel. Okay, let's start talk our, our talk about exams. I want to say that in Russia we have two different exams, main exams. First one, it is on ninth grade, when you are ninth grader, school boy, and second one, when you are on eleventh grade and you you kind of go out from from your school and you can go out from the ninth grade if you want to go to college. College it is one of the type of uh, kind of uh, non baccalaureate degree but good degree in Russia, college. Or you can go to university after after 11th grade and go to your baccalaureate degree or maybe to your uh, master specialist or PhD and next, 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 next by your, how to say it, it is steps, steps, yes, uh, when you are one, two floor, uh, s second floor and uh, uh, another, okay? And how does it look like uh, you, uh, I, when I was at 11th, they were going to talk about 11th grade more, mostly. When I was at 11th grade, you should pick two exams for your choosingity. Chosenity. I don't know how to say it. Uh, for example, you have uh, all the list of exams: physics, chemistry, maybe mathematics, Russian language, uh, informatics, society knowledge, astronomy, and others. And uh, on eleventh grade, you should pick two of them. And also, we have two of uh, them that are you must to achieve them. Two of them that you must to achieve, it is Russian language and mathematics. It is two, you must go for it. Yes, you should go to this. And two are for your chooseness. You choose your destiny. For example, you can choose uh, informatics and biology. Or maybe you can choose informatics plus uh, society knowledge. Or you can choose three or four or five. You can choose any. But two you should do must. And most people choose, like uh, I want to say, they choose uh, two exams of choosing. See, I don't know how to say it. When you pick of pickness and uh, two of mustness. Okay? Two of must and plus two of choosing. It is how people in uh, in general do. You can choose also five different things, or you can choose nothing, and you will go only with Russian and mathematics. Okay, and also you can go to mathematics of. Uh, you can choose here is basics mathematics. You can you can. You must do ma basics mathematics or you can go to the profile mathematics. It will be fifth different exams like Russian, basic mathematics and you picked profile mathematics, also informatics and physics, for example. It is what I was doing. And uh, if you picked uh, profile mathematics, then you will not go to the basic, because basic it is so basic, like uh, 2 plus 2, he, he, it is 4, he, nice. Yes, and uh, it is how it looks like. When I was at 11th grade, I picked informatics, information technology, also physics, and uh, also there was uh, there was mustness subjects of Russian language and also mathematics profile. Okay, we have four di four different uh, exams that I was doing. When do Russian people do this? They do 
and achieve their exams at the end of May, beginning of June, of the year of graduating. For example, you are a boy, like uh, you're on 11th grade, and you are finished already your school, and uh, on the on the on the end in the end of the May you are going oh nice Russian language I will go and uh, on the 10th of Ju uh, July on 11th I remember that uh, on on the 11th of June uh, there was my uh, physics it was the last exam that I needed and uh, you are going to exams with some spaces between them like uh, First will be on 26th, and uh, second will be on 29th, third will be on 3rd of June, and uh, last will be on 11th, for example. And how I was uh, doing them? I was preparing for them a little bit. We were having some books, like uh, it is examples, it is specific, uh, a book with exercises. And you... Pick one exercise, second, third, fourth, and you are choosing them and trying to accomplish. Uh -huh, it is. Uh, we should. Uh, we should count this, that, this, and also some animals need to count what's the sum of this. Okay, you have specific book with exercises, and also you have sometimes uh, co coaches. I did not go to coaches. But some people, they call, hey, dude, can, may I pay for you $15 and uh, for an hour and uh, we will learn some mathematics and Russian daily and something like this. Uh, my parents didn't do this uh, and I didn't want to go to this type of uh, coaches. Uh, yes, it could be uh, maybe a good experience for my books, for my autobiography to share new experiences. But I didn't go there uh, in those times. But I was uh, investing my time in something more interesting. I was playing World of Warcraft. It is an MMORPG game. <laughs> yes, and I was playing this game and uh, I didn't. I wasn't preparing for a lot for these exams and uh, it was uh, preparing I started my preparation only maybe on tw 20th, uh, 20th of May I started to prepare it was uh, six day before uh, before this all things also in my school I remember how we were sitting with our teacher and we were learning like hey it is a specific book that uh, we will talk about uh, about Russian language. Russian Russian teacher prepared us a lot for it, and she is a nice woman, and I respect to her. She prepared us good type. Also on physics, physics uh, teacher said to us that yes, let's go every every Thursday or uh, Wednesday Thursday th uh, every Thursday we are going to the school, sitting here and doing some crap. And uh, yes, she said to us this type of thing. And it was not super interesting. I prefer to work by my own. I don't like to work with uh, someone else who are shh, like, uh, I don't want to say that they are stupid. I want to say that uh, they are good, but their tempo, not like my tempo. I like to do in my tempo, okay? And uh, sometimes I do slow tempo, sometimes they do slow tempo, and I prefer to do by my own because I know that my tempo will be always depending on me, counting on me, yes? It is that it, I don't want to say that I'm like a company person who doesn't work with people. I can go to their empathy, but I understand that if we will do solo, solo learning, that it will be better for each of us. Yes, sometimes if uh, you... If you need motivation, then you can go and do by like company. I don't need motivation. I have my own motivation inside of me. Next thing, what we had. We had also some kind of pre-exams. It was on the December and uh, January and February of uh, 20, 2014. I was doing exams on 2015, but pre-exams was on 2014, 2015, beginning of the 2015 year, like six years ago. And uh, it was kind of the same. You do maybe essay on Russian language, 
maybe you do counting in, in uh, mathematics and also on informatics the most powerful and interesting thing that I was preparing for it is informatics because I know informatics I like to do this and also our teacher was amazing teacher like a Jesus Christ it is uh, the Ira Smith of uh, informatics or something like this and I liked to be with him and it was really classics and uh, cla in the classes and uh, we were doing some uh, programs we were doing counting some graphs calculating the directions between some lines it was amazing and uh, about about mathematics sometimes on mathematics so uh, on preparation we were sitting at classes and doing some of the some of the pre-exams, but not like an official pre-exams. We were doing pre-examination inside of the classes. The teacher said to us, Hey dudes, hey girls and boys, come to me. It's our schedule, it's our things, let's count it. Let's count 2 plus 3 and 3 minus 4. And uh, what will be? Negative one. Yes, and uh, we were doing kind of playing make-believe exam. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It is like when we sit in the classroom and uh, she gave to us uh, exam lists and we do kind of doing exam. Let's, let's imagine that we do exams right now and uh, we are counting things. Yes, I hope you understand. And on the exams, I was uh, going with some a bit of I don't know what's what is it hints. Yes, do you know hints? It is uh, like uh, tricks and hints uh, when you have something prepared before. It is maybe corruption inside of the inside of the <laughs> educational system. But you understand maybe you have some secret materials inside of your pocket. Yes, secret materials that you are only familiar with. And I understand that you maybe right now say, hey, dude, what are we doing? Yes, and you have it inside of your pocket and sometimes you can go to the toilet and you can read it this way. It is not like for everyone. I, I don't remember fully myself. I remember maybe only on mathematics doing it, but on others... I don't remember. I did not use it. Ah, also maybe on physics, I remember. On physics, I was sitting on the next... Uh, on the last, uh, on the last, uh, how to say it, table, on the last table, and on informatics, I don't remember how my informatics were, what we were doing. I remember that we were doing counting. Need to imagine it. Need to read. Uh, need to write about it and to refresh my memory. Then I will remember it better. And uh, on mathematics, it was easy. You are sitting county then go to the toilet check information and then go uh, go uh, back and by the way in, in the toilet when you go inside of the toilet you notice that a lot of people they are checking hey dude do you have something like a four trick john and metry for sinuses cosinuses how to count jesus christ and we were helping to each other i remember it and uh, you can save some formulas if you remember it uh, it is not like a, because in the toilet you don't have a place with cameras and uh, on Russian language I remember I was sitting on the f on the first uh, table or something or on the second I remember that I was sitting like near the teacher first table I means that uh, you can be in the near near the desk board desk board yes white board and uh, back of the class it is the last last tables like first fourth fifth sixth sixth it will be last maybe yes and okay i told you everything about our things maybe i will recollect something inside of my mind it is our preparing <laughs> pre pre video for exams uh, do you want to know more about exams let me know and uh, i want to tell that it is not super hard to achieve all what you need it is to prepare for specific types of of tasks that's all how to prepare it how long will it take i think that 50 hours will be enough 50 hours but not like a 50 hours that you are investing time in uh, hey i will use my phone i will use some memes and uh, in the same time i will learn my material the way how you learn it is like a city 
and let's do some exams let's do preparation let's do writing in your in your things on your paper some preparation maybe i will find also my my uh, textbooks student books about it yes thank you a lot for watching see you next time be cool and always improve self daily you can achieve any exam in your life always go forward and you will accomplish anything over prepared to be comfortable for your performance in any situation on stadium on exams on maybe chemistry things or medicine anywhere and you can accomplish your goals sing dance and draw do pictures see you next time bye bye guys